Okay, the last time I picked up my camera, I was attempting to clean out the laundry room. I did a good chunk of that. I filled up the trash can and the trash can was full, so I kind of had to stop. <laughs> but now I actually left my camera sitting down in the laundry room. And so like anytime that I've thought like, oh, I need to turn the camera on, I, I, I should film this. I just, it wasn't right there. I didn't have it. So we're going to do a quick update for anybody who cares. If you're watching, hopefully you care. So, um, today is Thursday. We're going to start a week ago. Thursday, I had an appointment to sign Freya up for kindergarten. Kindergarten. I'm still kind of speechless about it. I'm not really sure how I feel. It's definitely like there's a lot more feelings than there was when Lily started kindergarten. It was so much easier to just maybe, I don't know. Anyways, so Thursday, signed Freya up for kindergarten. Friday, I had a WIC appointment, which was like the appointment where you have to send them all of the things and like do all the things except WIC is closed because of COVID. So it's just like a drive up, load my card appointment. It's dumb. Anyways, that was Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Binks had an appointment. I took the cat to go get fixed. <laughs> so she had her appointment Monday. Uh, Monday night and Tuesday night, I had the old ferret cage sitting right here in my room. Um, what was that? Monday night, Tuesday night, or whatever, like three o'clock in the morning. Um, she was just making so much racket and I just wanted out. She was, I was just like, okay. We were done containing her at that point. Um, except, so that was Tuesday. Then Wednesday, um, I did put her in to just continue. She started like, she's jumping. She's not supposed to jump. She's not supposed to, you know, all the things. Um, and so I did contain her for a little while. Well then Wednesday, Rex had an appointment. I like really overbooked myself. Like not really, just like it was just constant one right after another, which I don't normally do to myself because I know how that makes me feel. Anyways, um, Rex had an appointment on Wednesday. Now, we're gonna do a little backstory on this because Rex has a vet that, um, like the one that he has seen a couple times. He's the one that neutered him. He's the one that um, gave me in, he, he gave me the initial like opinion on his eye. If you don't know, Rex has, um, I always forget the name of it, it starts with an E. Um, his basically, you know, your eyelashes grow like out and up and his grow down and literally just lay on top of his eyeball. Big thing, like he can go blind. Anyways, the vet that I had talked to, it's probably actually been close to two years now. Um, a year and a half over, it's got, had, it's like two years. Um, he told me that he couldn't do the surgery, that Rex didn't have enough like fat on top of his eye. Or his eye, he didn't have enough of an eyelid or I, some, uh, something. He, he wasn't willing to do it, which was fine. That told me like he didn't feel comfortable doing it, which I don't want him to do it if he doesn't feel comfortable doing it. But, um, anyways, he had, Rex had an appointment Friday. Um, the appointment was just to get his hooves trimmed and um, his tusks filed down because um, his tusks were getting caught on things. They, I just wanted like a second opinion on his eye they did the surgery um this is this was that was yesterday today's thursday what did i say today was i don't know today's thursday that's this was just yesterday um i picked rex up at like six ish last night and um he's doing good he's already starting to like rub his eye oh oh on things so i keep having to like just grab him and hold him and just like try to distract him from I mean, you, I can, ugh. anyways, okay, <laughs> um, so now I think that we're, that's what's been going on. I just had a lot of appointments and, um, kindergarten, she's gonna go to kindergarten already. Okay, anyways, speaking of Freya and Clary and their disaster of a room that can never, ever stay clean. <laughs> Um, I think this was also something that happened recently that I just didn't like film. I didn't, I'm not one of those, I don't know. I don't, I don't really see like family vloggers as extremely toxic. There are definitely traits of like family vloggers that are toxic and like the, oh my kid busted their tooth out and those kind of like 
grab your attention. That, that's, it's clickbait, but it's not clickbait because it's true. So it's all just, anyways, the whole point of me saying this is this bed. This bed is bad. <laughs> this bed is not good. Um, it's been a while now. Freya had, I don't know, see there's like, there's a jacket here. And there's, they just pile stuff everywhere, right? And so she was like walking across it and she tripped on something right here and smashed her face right here. And like hit her two front teeth. Oh, oof, it was so bad. It was not good, it was not good, it was not good. And um, Clary, well for one, her bed is underneath and so she cracks her head on this constantly. I had something sitting on the bed a box or something and they thought that it would be okay to sit on top of the box on top of the bed yeah clearly ended up on the floor so from from the bed from on top of a box to the floor that was when we officially decided um we were like looking for new beds for them uh they're not gonna keep this bed i'm gonna take this bed apart we're not gonna have it so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next episode where we fully clean out this room and hey stay wacky fam